Welcome to Let's Paint Minis. I'm Dan, and I'm on a quest to get better at painting. And I recently acquired some Dungeons & Lasers terrain from a Kickstarter I backed. So today, let's look at painting those. These tiles have very deep recesses on them, so they are ideal for dry brushing, and that's also a very quick way of getting some nice textures down. Considering how many tiles there are, I'm happy to look for something quick and easy to do to get it all done and up and running as quickly as possible. When dry brushing, you tend to want to use a flat brush, much like these. A lot of people have also said you can use an old makeup brush if you have one of those in the house, so I'll be giving that a go today as well. I've cut out and put together a small floor and wall section. I have five of them, so that will give me a few different options for colors. The first one I'm going to do, I haven't primed at all. This is going to be my quick and easy option. See how this goes. This is not a how to dry brush video, but very quickly you get paint on your brush, you wipe most of it off, get rid of any moisture, hence the name dry brushing. You wipe across whatever it is you're painting and it won't go into the recesses. So it's a very quick and easy way of showing off the texture on certain items. It's a really good way of doing fur, for example. I'm gonna try and keep the direction top to bottom on the walls, because I think that it would make sense to be darker lower down and it will give a better sense of depth. But for the floors, I'm gonna be doing this in random directions. Before we look at any of the other colour options, this is what this one looks like finished. The time spent on this was minimal, there was no primer, it was just dry brushed uh, as it came out of the box, and it still looks rather impressive. So all of the others, as I said before, will be going through basically the same process, I'll be dry brushing with one or two colours. As you can see here, the rest of them have been primed. I have two primed in black and two primed in brown. And then I'll be choosing the colors that I dry brush on them as I go. I'll have in the description all of the different color combinations that I used in the end. Trying out the makeup brush for the first time, it seems like it would be really good to go across a large number of tiles. It seems to absorb more paint, which has been a little bit of a problem for these individual tiles, but I think it will work out really well when I'm doing the whole batch.
and this is what they look like after just a dry brush. Considering these should be a thing in the background and not overlook the miniatures and things that you have placed on top, I think this is a really good finish. I'm very, very happy with them. Uh, looking to add a little bit more detail, I still want to keep it fast and simple. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing these tiles individually. I'm going to just lay down some washes, basically. I'm going to do random pools. I don't mind exactly if I get even coverage or not. Again, I'm considering where the darker areas should be. So for the walls, I'm looking at the lower parts. I'm looking at creases between bricks and things like that. There are scatter pieces that you can put in these little holes, but it also looks like there's scratches or something underneath. So I've decided to wash with a blue green color, give the impression it's some sort of water pipe or something and, and it's left watermarks or maybe mold or something underneath just to give it that extra color and something to make it stand out. But again, doesn't take too much time. I'm trying here painting just random bricks with solid colour. I didn't like how it looked so I very quickly watered it down so I get a slight adjustment on a few bricks. And this is the end result. There's five different finishes. And looking across, I can pick little bits that I like from each of the tiles and I'll put that into my final product. If you have terrain to paint and you just want to get it done quickly, this no prime with gray still looks very impressive. I'm still really impressed with it. Even without doing any of the washes or additional details, it really stood out. After doing this, I look forward to doing the entire dungeon set that I have. Hopefully this helps someone out there, even if it's not the same terrain that you're painting, the colour scheme should work across anything. It certainly gave me an idea of what to look for anyway. Thanks for watching the video, thanks for stopping by, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!